This is part 6 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery class selector, that is selecting elements using the CSS class name. Here is the syntax. To the jQuery dollar function, we pass the CSS class name with a dot in front of it and within quotes. So this is going to find all elements with that class name. jQuery class selectors use JavaScript's native get elements by class name function behind the scenes if the browser supports it. We have a few examples here. Notice within the first function, we are passing small as the CSS class name. So this is going to find all elements with that class. The second example is going to find all elements with class small or class big. And the third example is going to find all div elements with class small and any element with class big. Let's look at these in action now. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have a span and a div element and both of these elements have class small. And we have another span and a paragraph element here and both of these elements have class big. Now what we want to do is find all elements with class small and set a 5 pixel solid red border around them. So we want to find elements with class small and these are the two elements with class small. Okay. So within the ready function we are going to use the dollar function and then we want to find elements with class small. So I'm going to specify small as the class name and with a dot in front of it. So this is going to find all elements with class small and for those elements we want to set a border so I'm going to use the CSS function and specify the name of the property as border and the value is going to be 5 pixel solid red. Let's save the changes and when we reload the page both of these elements that is the span and div element should have a red border around them. There we go. Now, let's find all elements with class either small or big. And if you look at this HTML, all the elements either have class small or big. Okay, so, but this expression here is going to find only elements with class small. Now, we also want to find elements with class big. So, I'm going to put a comma and then dot big. Okay, so let's save this changes. And when we reload this, we should get a red border around, you know, all the elements. Okay, because these elements have either class small or big. Now, let's select elements with class small. So we want to select any element with class small, but only span elements with class big. Okay, so at the moment, this is going to select any element which have either class small or big. Okay, but our requirement now is to select any element with class small but only span elements with class big. So I'm going to prefix this dot big, I mean the second CSS class name with the element name. So span dot big. So this is basically going to tell find all the span elements with class big. Okay. So at the moment this is the span element with class big so that should be selected and these elements have got class small so both of them should be selected but this is a paragraph element with class big so this should not be selected so when we save this changes and when we reload this page the border around the paragraph element should be removed there we go all right now let's select elements with class small that are nested in an element with id equals div2. We need a different HTML for this. I already have that in the notepad. Let's copy and paste that within Visual Studio. I'll have this HTML available on my blog in case you need it. So let's paste that within our body section here. So basically, if you look at this HTML, we've got you know, a div here with id div1 and there's another div here with id div2. And inside this div, we have another div okay and a span okay both this div and this span are nested inside this div okay and this div has an id of div 2 now what we want to do is find all those elements that are nested with another element with id div 2 and if the elements has class small then we want to set a 5 pixel solid red border around them okay so what is our requirement we want to find you know an element with id div2 so i'm going to use the id selector 
which is hash and the ID of the element is div2 this is the one so div2 and we want to find all nested elements so I'm going to use a space remember the ancestor and descendant syntax so ancestor is here the element with ID div2 and you know whatever we are going to specify here is going to be the descendant so what do we want to find any element that has CSS class small so I'm going to specify the class name as dot small and then remove the rest of it there so basically this is telling find all the elements that are nested inside an element with ID div2 and that has got class small. So both of these elements which are nested inside this element with ID div2 have that class small so there will be a red uh, 5 pixel border around them. Okay, So let's save these changes and when we reload look at that this div and this span is nested under that div2 so they have a red border. Now if we remove this CSS class, what's going to happen? Now, this element will not satisfy the selector, so that will not have a red border. Only the span, which is nested inside this div element with ID div2, will have the border. So when we reload that, look at that, only the span element has the red border around it. Now, let's select all elements with class small and set 5 pixel solid red border. Again, we need a different HTML for this. So let's copy this and let's paste it within our Visual Studio. So this is straightforward HTML. We have two div elements. The first div has two classes, small and big, and the second div has only one class, small. Now, if we write something like this, you know, dot small, then this is going to find any element that has that class. Now both of these divs have that class small. So now when we reload this page, both the divs should have a red border around them. Okay, But now our requirement is to select all elements that has both the classes, small and big. And if you look at these two divs here, only this div has both the classes but not this div. Okay, So we want to select only those elements which has both the classes small and big and to do that I'm going to specify the second class name dot big notice there is no space between the first and second class name so this is going to ensure that it's going to select you know elements that has both the classes so let's reload that look at that only div1 is selected because that is the only element with both the class names all right Now, what is going to happen if we have a space between you know, the class names? Then the meaning is entirely different. Basically, we are saying, in this case, find all the elements that have class big and that are nested inside an element that has class small. OK, so again, this one is ancestor, um, I mean, ancestor descendant syntax. Okay, so basically what is this going to do? When we save these changes and when we reload this page, we are not going to get border around any of the elements because none of these elements satisfy that selector. Okay, but then if I'm going to have, let's say, inside this div, another div, and then let's set the CSS class of that to big, and let's say this is div3, let's include an HTML break okay so now if you look at this HTML we have a div here which has got the class big and that element is nested inside another element which has class small so this element is satisfying the selector so this div should get a red border around it so when we reload this page look at that div 3 gets a red border around it now if we have you know, code like this without a space in between the class names, then this is going to select this div because that's the div which has both the classes. Okay, so this is one way to do it. Another way is by using filter method. So basically, I can say, okay, find this one is going to find all elements with class small. And then what I'm going to do is use filter method 
and then find all elements with class big and then apply the CSS function okay but this you know is lower than the previous version where we have used the class names without space between them okay because what is this going to do this is going to first build a list of elements you know which has class small and then it's going to remove any element that does not have class big and then apply the border okay so it's happening in two steps here whereas in the other example that is using the class names without space between them that happens in one go so when we save these changes and when we reload you know the behavior should be exactly the same but we are here we are using the filter method thank you for listening and have a great day